Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm in a new filming spot location because guess what? We have that one SUV from Acura that got a performance upgrade. It's this one right here. This is it. This is a 2023 Acura MDX. This, as you can see, is the Type S version of this midsize three-row SUV. But before we get into this Tiger's Eye painted, that's the halo color for the Type S, let's talk about what's going on here. Acura. They're really bringing that precision crafted performance to their whole lineup from the NSX, well, used to be the NSX, now the NSX no longer exists for model year 2023. But yes, they started with the NSX, had a Type S version, TLX Type S, obviously the new Integra Type S, and we can't forget about their SUV, the MDX Type S. Now in this performance segment of the SUV category, there's a lot of competition. You have BMW, Audi, Mercedes-Benz. You even have a new player on the block. That would be Genesis with their GV80. So what I want to find out is, if you're looking for a performance SUV that has versatility for those daily duties, but also you can let it rip through the twisty bits, is the MDX Type S the one to buy over, say, a Genesis GV80 or a BMW X5? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color. If you see this color, you should automatically know it is a Type S because this color, which is called Tiger's Eye, is only available on a Type S trim of a particular model. So at the front of the business, you're gonna get that same great style and lighting. Triple LED beam headlights with the LED daytime running lamps. You got your chicane daytime running lamp that is a signature of Acura who remember races not only in GTD with the NSX still, but also in GTP with the Acura prototype. Working your way down, we do have corner vents that have some functionality, like the way they shape the little grill inserts to match what's in the middle. And all the way down below, we still get LED fog lamps, which is a nice touch. Little bit of gloss, that body colored tiger's eye, looking really slick. And then as we come across that grill, this is an Acura badge that Flava Flav would love to hang around his neck. Get rid of the clock, wear the Acura badge, forward facing camera. This grill opening has been increased to flow more air. And of course you got the Type S badge, letting you know that you got the extra performance. Working your way down, more of that same great functionality on the lower portion and I like the way it matches at all four corners matches plus with it being a type s you have a color body matched outer perimeter to the grill normally this would be like gloss black loving the way it's all tiger's eye now as you rise up you follow that peak and ride it all the way towards the windshield and then a nice v formation going towards the a pillars as we come around the bend we got a little bit of a surprise. Actually, I don't have the surprise. Acura has a surprise for you. The first time ever on an MDX, we have 21 inch wheels. Multi-spoke design, gloss black with the machined aluminum. We have Brembo calipers with the Acura badging and that bright red color. Beefed up brake rotors. And of course, adaptive air suspension. So this actually raises and lowers a little bit depending on what mode you're in. And we'll talk more about the modes when we get inside, but it's cool to see these 21 inch wheels. Tires are 275 on the width and then a 40 series sidewall. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what about all wheel drive? Does this have it? Yes, this has a specifically tuned super handling all wheel drive system that could send 70% of the power to the rear wheels. And that has a real direct drive shaft to that rear differential. It's not like an electric motor or something like that. Comparing this to the GV80, this definitely has a higher performance credential. It's gonna be interesting with the X5 uh, M40i uh, when it comes to BMW's SUVs to put it up against this competitor. Now, you do have gloss black around the fender opening. I would like this to be body colored, so I am gonna zonk that. Let me know how you feel about the openings on the fenders, but you have a nice clean Type S badge Nicely placed, 
I think it was smart the way they bring the trim into the top of the fender, then to the top of the door panel. Gloss black power folding mirrors with LED lighting, gloss black top and bottom of the window frames and on our roof rails, color match door handles, and then a little bit of gloss black along the bottom. I think they tastefully dropped in those accents very nicely. And I'm also digging this sort of rainbow bend to our indentation on our door. Now, as we come towards the rear, nice size quarter window, swinging it around back. Love the taillights, absolutely dig. Full LED with that chicane style brake light, our Type S badge. This guy's gotta go. To clean up the back end, if this was tucked in, it would be spot on the money. And they should really, to be honest with you, for a Type S, extend this roof spoiler out a little bit more. But everything looking good in Tiger's eye with that super handling all-wheel drive badge. And then look at what we got down below. Quad tip, functional exhaust. You put it in the different modes, gives it a different sound. And I like the way they did this lower bumper area with this simulated diffuser looking great. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk performance of this SUV. All right guys, we got our hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Right off the bat, you could see our turbocharger. This is a unique engine to the MDX Type S. Decent engine cover, at least it doesn't look like a garbage can lid, like the past generation of the MDX. What do we got going on? We got a three liter turbocharged V6 engine. 355 horsepower, 354 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, if you compare this to the GV80, the GV80 has a twin-turbo V6. This has a single-turbo V6 engine. Zero to 60 in 5.3 seconds with that super handling all-wheel drive. Quarter mile in 14 seconds flat at 101 miles per hour. MPGs around 18 in the city, 21 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs 4,712 pounds. Now, what a lot of people don't realize about this engine is you have some forged internal parts like the piston rods on this engine to really give it that durability that Acura is known for. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. Hi guys, we are behind the wheel inside this 2023 Acura MDX Type S. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I need a new SUV. My family's gotten a little bit larger, but you know what? I still want to feel connected to the driving experience and I want something with some pep. How much is this MDX Type S? The way that this one is optioned, you're looking right around MSRP of $73,000. Let's see how it stacks up to the competition, to the door panels. I love what they've done with the materials. Up top, you have soft top black material, but then you have this dark stained wood without any veneer, which looks very classy. You do also have three memory seat settings for the passenger and the driver. You have the ELS Studio 3D sound system, nice quality with the aluminum speaker grill cover. You'll notice the Orchid color leather interior with that black contrast stitching and then a door pocket that's large enough for two whoppers a large fry have it your way and a strawberry milkshake now going from the door panel to the dash same thing the stitching is awesome nice soft touch material the dark wood my one zonk is there's a little too much gloss black in front of the passenger i would like this wood trim brought down just a little bit more you slide on in, what do you get? You get a 12.3 inch infotainment system screen with our navigation and everything. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. I think the Zonk that you're probably gonna say, it's not a touch screen. I don't think that's as big as an issue that many people make it to be because of the uh, touch pad that they use in here. It's very, very specific on how it works. And I'll show you that in a second, but let me show you your cameras forward-facing camera, 360-degree camera with trajectory, nice clear resolution. I could actually see that that's poison ivy right there. So make sure, Stephen, you don't run into that when we're filming. And then you make the camera go to the different angles. I mean, look at that. 
You got your wheels. I can see my 21 inch wheels, bling, bling. And then we're right back where we started. Now the great news is you go to home, you have all of these different icons, including Amazon, Alexa, which is nice, your Bluetooth, your navigation, the whole nine yards. And you could also adjust what's on the side. And you got like a nice little tambourine kind of jingle going on, which is making me get a little relaxed and feel a little looser. Now working our way down, I love the way you have this silver start stop button with the bright red. You got your dual climate control, easy to figure out. You can control your rear AC as well. Three stages ventilated seats, three stages heated seats. Then we have this guy, the dynamic mode control knob. Watch this. You turn it, look on the dash. It looks like freaking Gran Turismo. You're playing a video game. All the different modes, absolutely cool how it works. And then you press the center to do individual. And you could individually set up each and everything, the suspension, the steering, the engine, the whole shabam. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do, right? We gotta hold it on sport and then watch this. That's when we go sport plus. Working our way back down, some gloss black. This is where your USB-C and your USB-A is. There's that precision touch pad I was telling you about. So just imagine, this isn't a mouse pad. Imagine this is the screen and where you touch on this, it touches on the screen. So I kind of like it because you don't get fingerprints volume knob you got a place for some mentos after you've been eating some funyuns two cup holders love the acura type s key fob nicely done got to give them some props you got that remote engine start large wireless pads so you could get you know how some of you have those iphones that are like freaking ipads you could put that in there you get a nice little palm rest so you could rest your palm after a hard day more of that orchid color soft material open this up you got a little bit of a tray for some planters peanuts, maybe some Slim Jims. Open it up even more, you could put your balls in there. So easily put, I would say, four baseballs. Maybe you had one signed by uh, Ken Griffey Jr., maybe Don Mattingly, or maybe uh, you know one of the guys that used the roids. I don't think they're valuable as much as the ones that did not use the roids, but you have felt lining in there so that the autograph does not get rubbed off. Plus you have a USB-A and a 12 volt in there. So they got you covered. Seats are phenomenal. The piping, the stitching, the beauty, the touch. Full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver. And of course we have this massive panoramic sunroof, which is gonna let the vitamin D just rain upon you. And then you could close it one touch of that mom, no hands. Yes, I had to do that to make sure it closed properly. Now come over here to the business side. I want to show you behind a flat bottom steering wheel in this MDX Type Hi S. Guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have that Type S sill plate. Let you know every time you get in that you went all the way performance wise. Love the pedal box. Nice large dead pedal. This is what I'm talking about. Aluminum, aluminum brake pedal and throttle. Nicely done. And then of course you got all your seat controls. Easy to get to like that. And then the room in here is spectacular. Even though this is not a full-size SUV, the way it's organized is so well done, especially the controls for your 10-speed automatic. This steering wheel, I love rubbing my hands all over it. You got the two-piece leather, love the perforated flat bottom, Type S badge, nice horn button, flat black on all the switch gear, and then you have these paddles behind the steering wheel to go up and down the 10-speed, electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and then you got that beautiful digital gauge cluster, which actually changes depending on what mode you're in. So really, really cool to have that adjustability when it comes to what you have. Sport Plus, you got the tech right across the top. And then also remember that you can scroll through a cornucopia of information as well, including the all-wheel drive, tire pressure, oil maintenance, and one of my personal favorites, and Stevens, is the G-meter. On top of that, you got a head-up display, but let's see what the mid-row passengers get in this MDX Type right, guys, mid-row time, and this is the nice thing, is that you get the versatility of being able to sit three across in the mid-row, which is great. Now, the backs of the seats, there are some hard plastic. The good news is you'll be able to clean off those white fingerprints, and no, I'm not talking about what you're thinking, drugs. I'm talking about donuts, powdered donut fingerprints, easily cleaned off. 
you have these large pockets where you could put, I would say, four silver dollar pancakes from IHOP. And I am definitely hopping over this little command center. You have your nice climate controls, easily identifiable. We have three stages of heated seats, but the Zonk is no ventilated seats, but I do like the large AC vents. We got a 12 volt down there, USB A's, and another power source. I have plenty of room, and the great news is, is adjustability. You can slide, and you could also recline in this mid row. Plus, you have these nice little security sunshades, manual, ELS premium sound system all the way around. And then watch this. Let's say you want like a captain's chair arrangement in here because somebody isn't sitting in the middle. You ready? Abracadam, uh, abracadam, abracadabra, alakazam, one, two, three, change. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We now have our command, our little uh, captain's chair command center up with this setup. Two cup holders, you got a place for Funyuns. Just make sure you got some breath mints. And the best news is you could actually even remove this midsection in case you have some longer objects that you're transporting. But why don't we go ahead, we talked about the mid row, let's get into that third row because I think it might be a little tight in the MDX. Let's go check it out. All right guys, third row time, and I'm telling you right now, if you're tall like I am, it's gonna be a tight fit. You do have the speakers back here, so you'll be able to hear the music very well, but it might be there to kind of drown out your tears because it's just a little tight. I have the seat where I was sitting, and you can see that my knees are right here. They're too high, they're in the back. I would need to move the seat up a little bit, which you can, but then that compromises the mid-row passenger. You do get USB-A's back here and a little cup holder. But other than that, I really would like just a little bit more space. Or, since this is the Type S Performance Edition, why not just delete the third row? That would have been a cooler option, I think. But while we go ahead, let's get this third row down and see how much cargo space we have in the MDX. Right, guys, cargo area time, real simple. Hit that nice electric assist. Comes up kind of slow, but you know what? It'll eventually get there. I have the third row up. It's interesting that they squeeze in a third row, but that gives you that open accessibility. You're looking at up to 18 cubic feet of space with the third row up. On the driver's side, you have a perfect nook for two boxes of Twinkies. And you have, of course, your 12 volt. Close that up. And then to put the seats down, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Watch this, you just pull those down and then you just push. Now you just opened up more room. And if you're wondering, well, how much room do we have? You have around 48 cubic feet of space. You fold down that mid row, you're looking at 95 cubic feet of space. So you're getting quite a substantial amount of space. Look at the storage underneath here. If you have a sweet tooth and your doctor says, don't eat the sweets and you have to keep it a secret, put all your little Debbie snacks, your Twinkies, your Ho-Hos, your Ding Dongs, all of that back here. Plus, I like the fact that you could easily spin this around. Say you go to the beach and the kids have their sandy toys and shoes and blankets, they could put it on here and this is much easier to keep clean. Or you could just remove it all the way or just put it back. Easy peasy, hit that button, close it down. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see what kind of precision crafted performance Acura is bringing and go on throttle in this MDX Type S. All right, guys, we are inside this 2023 Acura MDX Type S, the hero color, Tiger's Eye. I'm gonna come to a complete stop. I have everything in Sport Plus. We're gonna shift with these paddles behind the wheel. And if you're ready, I'm ready. On right, throttle, here we go. Smooth shifts from that 10 speed automatic and quite responsive too. The shifts are very quick when you hit the paddle, whether you're going up or down. You'll notice there's some sound being pumped into the cabin. I'm on the fence about it. It's not as obnoxious as some of the BMWs that I've driven or a Lexus but it's obviously there and it's not 100% real, so. Sometimes synthetic pumped in sounds, they really hit the nail on the head. This one, like I said, I think it's a half and half type of deal. Like half of me, I'm digging it. The other half, I wanna zonk it. But when it comes to driving, 
The steering is so precise. I love the steering in an Acura or a Honda, and it really doesn't have to be a Type R or a NSX. They do a really good job with getting that feel into the steering of their different vehicles, no matter what kind it is. Now you do have a head up display and you do have everything well laid out here. That's for certain. That's, that's the great news is, is that everything is well laid out. The new dash that they're running with the tachometer across the top looks fabulous. And visibility is really, really great here. Of course, with that V6 turbocharged engine, you're getting some torque and you're getting that power. It's a little different than what you're gonna find in a BMW or an Audi, that's for certain. But I wanna find out how this car handles in the twisty bits because it's got that super handling all-wheel drive. So into a corner, you can really see how you do get a little body roll, but not too much. I think the, the bigger thing that needs to be updated are the tires. I would like a little stickier tire, but once you get humming, she starts to dance with you very, very nicely. And I think that's where you're gonna find the big pluses with how this MDX Type S drives. All right, throttle, here we go. Holds a line very nicely through this right-hand bend. Look at that, very, very nice. You got those Brembos up front where we're able to shed speed very, very quickly and you can stop on a yen and give everybody change. All right, throttle, here we go. I just would like a little bit more grunt off the line. And the crazy thing is we all know that Acura is holding back a little bit with the kind of numbers that they can produce with this turbocharged V6. That goes without saying. But I think for somebody who wants to have that drivability, reliability, and just overall a well-balanced package, you ready? On oh, throttle, here we go. Still using those paddles. On the brakes. <laughs> That's where it gets fun in this vehicle is when the road starts to twist and bend, you really get that engineering, that great engineering with the super handling all wheel drive, sending power to the rear wheels to the front wheels, and remember, 70% of the power can be sent to those rear wheels. All right, guys, we gotta keep doing this. It's a lot of fun, I have to admit. On throttle, here we go. All grip, no slip off the line. Yeah, this is where I get a smile on my face. On those brakes. Woohoo! <laughs> the other great news is the seats. I love the balance between obviously the luxury side of things, but they got some bolstering. I would like a little bit more on the bottom portion, maybe a little bit more on top, but to be honest with you, with how this vehicle is going to be driven. I, I think they found a pretty good kind of middle ground on the seat being sporty, but also giving you some comfort while you're driving. Getting to everything is well within reach. And I promise you, practice. Practice makes perfect. Use that precision touchpad because I think it's going to surprise you. I think we're all obsessed with wanting to touch the screens. I personally hate touching screens because I hate the fingerprints. You get all these greasy fingerprints, you know, you're eating your, your checkers fries, you just dipped uh, maybe a chicken nugget into some BBQ sauce. That's barbecue sauce for those that don't know. And you wind up getting a nice smear all over the screen. So me personally, I'm glad this doesn't have a touch screen, but let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. 
Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that are very upset that this does not have a touchscreen. But driving this little back road here, look at this, nice long left sweeper. Like I said, a little bit of body roll, but nothing that's gonna make you feel like you're gonna topple over. Would like to see a little bit flatter transition when I'm in the turn. But you do have that adaptive air ride suspension. And it does put a smile on your face, I have to admit. I personally like the fact that it's a nice balanced vehicle. And if you need to have that last minute third row for when your son or daughter needs to bring their annoying kids to the mall or to the movies, you could throw them back there. You have that flexibility. I personally would leave that third row down probably 99% of the time. But like I said, if you need it, it's there. I just, they got that beautiful quad tip exhaust. Let me hear it. What is it with Acura and Honda? Besides the Integra Type S, where the sound is a little muted. I don't get it. But what I do get is on throttle. On throttle, here we go. On those brakes. If I was specking this, I would go Apex Blue with the red, the red interior. That color combo just gets my heart pitter-pattering. But having all the options, the ventilated seats, the heated seats, this steering wheel, you're gonna wanna rub your hand all over all day long. And that's what you should be doing because you're driving. It feels really, really great. The materials in here are spectacular and you got a panoramic sunroof. But there are some things that could use some improvement. Like I said, that low down torque, I would like a little bit harder kick off the line. And I think overall, I'm not 100% sold on the electric brake system in this. It, yes, I know the technology is taken from the NSX, but it just doesn't feel as responsive. And the feedback, the modulation of the brake pedal, I just, I, I, it wasn't jiving with me very well. So that's one other thing. But besides that, I think it's definitely one that should be on your list if you're looking at an Audi if you're looking at a BMW or if you're definitely looking at a Mercedes-Benz. But we're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a hot day out here, but you know what, it's been worth it with this MDX Type S. Definitely have to thank the whole Acura team, especially Chris, Antonio, Jake, Andrew, the whole crew, getting us access to this tiger's eye, the halo color of the MDX Type S. Let me know what you think. Are you going Type S? with the MDX over the Genesis GV80 or the BMW X5? Let me know down in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raiders Rides family. Of course, none of this would be possible if he wasn't sweating out here in the sun with me. Give Stephen Flood of Stephen Flood Photography a follow on Instagram. Give him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.